What's going on, bros? It's your boy Stevie Ray coming to you live. You know where we're at. We're in my backyard. It's Saturday. We're gonna do another Stevie Ray adventure, baby. And because so much feedback came back on that birdhouse, we're gonna be building another one. So let's get to it. So this is the material we're gonna use for today's birdhouse. Now it's not gonna be like your typical one, like the one we built the last time. Um, I know the last time we used pickets, but this time we're gonna be using some brush um, that we ended up clearing from our back alley. And so basically, This is what we're going to be using. All right, let's get to it, baby. So the type of birdhouse that we're going to build today is going to be a log style cabin birdhouse. Because the branches look like little logs, like kind of like Lincoln logs, um, that's the style that we're going to go for. So I actually cut probably about eight different big branches. Um, from there, I just took apart all the leaves, um, you know, that were hanging out, all the smaller uh, stems that were sticking out. And basically, the, uh, these big branches were what, what was left over. Um, they're all different colors and sizes. That's just because it's different trees that were in the back. Uh, but that's okay because it gives it a little more pizzazz, you know, so the basic idea is just to get these branches here um, We are gonna go ahead and debark them off. We're gonna kind of take a um, If you would a utility knife uh, Be very careful with these knives obviously don't hurt yourself um, And every single branch we're just gonna kind of You know like like peeling a carrot, but we're peeling branches. So that's what we're gonna do Okay, cool. So I finished peeling as much as I could, um, you know, just to kind of have a base already. Yeah, I've, I've peeled probably, a, I don't know, six of these. Um, and I wanted to peel the bigger ones, you know, the more thick uh, gauge branches. That way those can be set on the bottom of, of the base of the birdhouse. Um, and then we'll go up from there. So basically what you're going to do now is go ahead. And I know I mentioned we're not going to use pickets, but you need something for a base. Um, so I just found a picket that I had in the back. Um, and you can get in, you can get plywood, you can get any like a two by four um, if you want to put them together. But basically, what we're gonna do is this is gonna be the base of the house. Um, so we're gonna get the base. Uh, that's our base, and then we're basically gonna measure. And I want to say this is probably gonna be about five inches. Go ahead and measure, and then cut to the width of the base, to the size of the base, and then that's what you're gonna build your birdhouse off of. And then you'll do two, 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 two like Lincoln logs, like when you stack logs. Um, we'll get more into it and then y'all will see.
All right, guys, so the best way to achieve um, getting your cuts in your wood like this, you know, it's, a, it's called a notch. You got to notch it out. Um, I'm going to show you. So I kind of did, I did this one already. Um, I don't know if y'all could see that, but yeah, it's going to be a notch. Basically, what you're going to do um, is you're going to have a notch, and then whenever you stack them, you're going to put the notches together. You might have seen this before. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you how to do this side. Okay, cool. So go ahead and make your marks where you're going to do your notch. I made mine already. Um, right there. Boom, boom. It's going to be in between there. So put it, if you have a vise, it's easier. Um, because you can just go ahead and vise it down. Um, cool. So I'm going to vise mine. Right. And you don't want to go too hard, especially because usually vices, they have, um, like rigid insides and you'll mark the wood. I mean, if it, it doesn't matter, um, if you don't care, but... So yeah, so that'll be like a notch. We're just gonna clean that up. You can use a file, this is a wood file. Um, use, there's a flat side and a curved side. Curve, this is if you, like for example, like the holes in the birdhouse, um, if you wanted to like file the circle part, and then flat if you wanna file like, for example, or a notch. It needs to be flat. So go ahead and just file that. Now the base of the actual log cabin birdhouse, we have it down, um, and it's just gonna be these two main posts here. Uh, basically, they're the biggest branches I could get, and that's kinda what you want. Um, you wanna have the biggest branches as being the part of the base of the actual birdhouse. So once you place it down, um, and you've already cut your notches, on the bottom, you're only gonna have to cut a notch on the top, okay? You're not, so, Whenever you start going up, you have to cut a notch on the bottom and the top. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the notch on the top and the notch on the bottom match. Okay, make sure they're in the same area on both sides. Uh, that way when you start stacking them, whenever you're going up, it looks like a flush square, because that's what you want. We're trying to aim for a cube. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and just get some regular wood glue, um, and you're gonna fill in the notches. So, because we're gonna start making the house. So I have my little foundation down. I put my two side um, branches. So go ahead and just put. So go ahead and start nailing everything together. The best thing to do too, if you have a small drill bit, you can actually run pilot holes into the wood. That way it doesn't split because then you're just wasting time, um, especially because these, they take a while to cut and you know, you're peeling the bark, you're putting time into it. You wanna make sure that everything's gonna be good and that you're not taking up too much time. So yeah, so go ahead and run pilot holes in each corner and then run a nail through. So that's what we're gonna do right now.
so this is basically where we're at now um, I've already built the walls and whenever you're done building the walls of your structure we're gonna go ahead and um, or you could go ahead and start working on the roof but I was gonna say mine is only four tall um, on the sides this is where I'm gonna put the door if you wanted to be taller um, you can do that of course just keeps uh, stacking your rows of your of your wood but I think for now this is gonna be good so what I'm gonna do and I've already pre-cut a notch um, so from here on out my notches are gonna be off a little bit so basically what's gonna happen is because we're gonna start making the roof these bottom notches you see they're kind of different okay so these notches here are gonna go down and then we're gonna stack up and it's gonna keep moving slowly and slowly as we're stacking until we get to the middle and that's gonna be what the roof is gonna be okay so basically if you can see this is gonna be the back of the house so once, once we once we lay in this uh, this little log if you would see that so then we're gonna start moving in you know and then it's just gonna keep moving in 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 all the way and it's gonna make a peak and then on that peak we could go ahead and we'll start putting the foundation of the roof okay so yeah so we're gonna start doing that now I'll, I'll show you as we go okay great so this is basically what we have right now um, as you can see I've already built the walls um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the roof structure up uh, in the front I'm actually gonna see if I can make kind of like a patio um, so whenever the roof comes down um, we'll have something here kind of like a poles if you would um, and it'll make like a little patio for our for our little for our little birdhouse log cabin um, yeah and then we're gonna make the door eventually too um, we're gonna get on that here in a little bit but just to kind of show you the way I'm doing these notches so if you can see and obviously all this like we could clean up um you know we could kind of just cut it off to make it look more uniform but basically i'm just kind of working the notches in um so i notched this is the one that i had showed y'all previously i notched it um and then i notched a little bit in and then we laid a log we got that notch there we're actually so this is the back of the house we're gonna run a log let me see you know like kind of like this on there but we're actually gonna cut it shorter so that way it starts to kind of come in and then it'll get smaller and smaller and smaller until we get to the tip top and then eventually I'm gonna have to make another one of these the ones that stick out um, on the top so it'll stick out kind of like this so so yeah so it's coming along good so let's keep going so I've already kind of made the roof um, it kind of looks like a tank a little bit um, but basically this is kind of going to be the framework what we have we still haven't cut out a door um, I'm deciding on whether to put a circle or like a square like an actual door so you could kind of do that too if you'd like um, now what we're gonna do is we're kind of gonna make um, a roof uh, we're gonna go ahead and have it like a shingle form I'm gonna actually use some wood that I have make it look like shingles and then we're gonna do layers um, okay so we got the roof on it's looking pretty good uh, now we just got to make the door we're gonna make a base and then I'm gonna actually make a patio in the front um, coming down we put two pieces of wood here make it look like a little patio put a little patio floor and everything too so we'll go ahead and get started on that so I just made the door um, literally cut a branch in half now it to the front so it gives it kind of a frame put a cross beam on top and then just cut the middle woods up so that's it that's the door so I went ahead and screwed the floor in just put four screws to the bottom of the base I left some room so we could run another small branch on the side just to give it detail. Um, so this is going to be the front of the house. It's looking really good. Um, as you can see, I put some staples here just so that way to, to give this top portion a, a brace. Uh, now we're just going to go ahead and make the patio. We're going to use some more uh, branches as logs to kind of go down and then we'll make like a little rail. You know what I mean? And then we might put one in the front just to make it look pretty and then that should be it. Okay, so now we're done. So this is basically it. Um, this is gonna be our little log cabin birdhouse. As you can see, I built the patio. Um, I gave it some railings. Uh, real simple, I just ran some nails um, through the bottom of these longer bottom um, branches. And then I just cut little, kind of like dowels. You could, it's probably best if you use dowels, but I just kind of made some dowels out of branches. And I ran a hole through all of them. I don't know if you could see that there, but when I hit it through, it just went through and then it went up to the top. And that's pretty much it. I did it for both sides. Um, tried to make it as flush as I could. So yeah, now last thing to do is we're just gonna go ahead and paint this um, and I'll see if I could paint it and then I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the birdhouse. I just finished painting it. 
pretty completed. Painted the roof. Went ahead and painted the railings too. Um, and the door as well. It looks like a little house. Kind of wish you could live in there, huh? So yeah, that's it. All right, guys. So that was basically it. How to make a log cabin birdhouse. Hope y'all liked the video. Um, any suggestions, let me know. If y'all want to see me build something else, I can do so. Other than that, take it easy, guys. Peace out.